Okay, here's another problem we're going to do that has uh, three given sides. Now what's interesting about this problem is we notice that two of the sides are the same and there's, this means that it's a isosceles triangle and from geometry that means that if these two sides are equal that means that these two angles must be equal. So therefore I only have to do log cosines once because that's going to be enough information for me to solve for the rest of the triangle. I'm going to solve for A, and then if once I solve for A, automatically I'll have B, then I can subtract those from 180 to get uh, C. So if I want to go for A, I want to use the version of the law of cosines that has me solve for uh, angle A in it. So I'm going to do A squared is going to equal B squared plus C squared, 2 times B, C, cosine A. That's the version I want to use because it has my angle A in it that I'm trying to uh, solve for. Okay, so now I'm going to put in the given information here. A, the opposite of, of A is 3, so 3 squared. I have B is 3 also. C is going to be 2. And I have 3, 2 here. And then cosine A is what I'm trying to solve for. Uh, 9 equals 9 plus 4 minus, this will be 12. And then I'm, uh, the 9's cancel, and I'll bring the 4 over, and I get negative 4 equals negative 12 cosine A. If I divide both sides by negative 12, then I get this. I get 0.333 repeating, and that's going to be cosine A. And then I just need to take the inverse of both sides, and when I take the inverse, I get this. 70.53 should be the angle you get for A. Again, you're taking the inverse cosine of both sides. Inverse cosine of 0.3 repeating will give you this. So since I already know my answer for A, 70.53, automatically because it's an isosceles triangle I know that these two angles have to match so I know that's also 70.53. So the last thing I have to do is just subtract both of them from 180. I'm going to do 180 minus, I have two of those, minus two times 70.53 and if I subtract that that's going to leave me with my final answer, 38.94. So this right here, 38.94, that will be the angle measurement for the last one. So now I have all three angles uh, found in this particular triangle. I have all three sides. The triangle is solved.